Hey guys, hope you're all having a great weekend, or had a great weekend. It's actually Monday here in Australia. Um, time splitters too, and other requests. Um, getting um, a bit late, but it is here now. So let's go into settings and show you what I've got them at. Um, system, eSocket at 100%, eSocket skip moderate underclock 2, and as usual, normal speed at 110%. Graphics is OpenGL. Um, 0.75 native resolution. So let's get into the game. Actually, before I do that, I'll just put oh, the brightness is down. All good. This game is another game. Doesn't work quite as good as Time Splitters One, but it um, works amazing. Amazing. So we'll do the first stage just to show you guys. Um, I'll just go normal. I've actually completed this stage a couple of times now. So I know what I'm doing. So any of you guys got your Retroid Pocket 3 yet? Um, I'm still like Considering they said it can't play PS2, there is some plenty. There's some good games out there you can actually play on this thing. And some of the GameCube games you can play, like Thirteen, plays amazing. Skip this. Get into the gameplay. Loading. Siberia. A blast dam. Oh, it's a bit bright, bro. Hang on, I'll just put the brightness down, guys. Alright, skip. Alright, let's go. So we're getting 56, 55, 54 frames a second. Oh, get the guy. Oh, it's missing him. Completely missing him. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna die. I didn't die last time. What's going on, bro? Oh, look, they're surrounding me. No, don't kill me, bro. I'm gonna die. I got no health. Oops, all right. Got him. I think that's all of them. So go in here, turn this off. Oh, yeah, exit camera, switch camera off. Should have did that first, maybe. So do his first objective, which is to blow up that dish. So we've got to go get some explosives, which, oh, you're not supposed to fall down there, but I did, obviously. I'm great at these games. I play them so well. All right, try not to fall down again. All right, explosives. Let's get back to the dish. Someone's shooting at me. Don't know who. Alright. That should do it. Okay. Done complete. Alright, let's go into the tunnels. No power, I don't know how to restore power, but there's never any power to that door, so we gotta go this way. 
There's probably a way you can restore power, but I don't know how. Oh, come on. We have to auto aim. All right, up we go. Camera. Oh, you died. All right, we'll try and do the full level. Uh, might might be a bit long, but we'll try and do the full level. Uh, that's right, you can't, there's no power, so I can't go there, so. All right, turn these on. Oh, it's off. Oh, I've got to turn these off. That's right, not on. Oh, I'm dying. Oh, how did he not kill me, bro? Like, I had little health. Alright, let's turn these off. Yeah. I've got a bit of shield, that's why. Ah. Oh. Should have... There we go. Turn this one off. Keep on moving the handheld as usual. So let's go up here. See no power. I have no idea how to restore the power. There's probably a way. Don't know how. I bet some of you guys probably know how that have played this game. Oops. Probably make some of you guys sick moving around like that. Um, let's go down. Good night. Is there someone behind me? Oh, let's see. Oh, dude, stop it. I am nearly dead. I would say I'll die before I finish the stage. I have, like, literally no health. I keep on moving it to the right. Sorry, guys. How am I not dying? Oh. Oh. They're all gonna come out. Oh! Well, there you go. That is Time Splitters 2, guys. Another game that works amazingly well on this Retro Pocket 3. That is nearly a nine minute video. I actually like that game. It's quite a good game. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. Ah, uh, you guys are awesome as usual. Catch you later. See ya. Bye.